Work example two. Copy and complete the table for this relation over this interval. So, like we did in the previous video, let's start and finish up. So, this is our relation. We substitute any two values. Over here, I'm going to take negative 1.5 and 4.5 so that I can use the equator to do the rest. Now, when x equal negative 1.5, substitute and I get 2.8. x equal 4.5, I substitute into the formula and I get 2.8. Now, use the equator to fill in the rest of the spaces. Now, the next question is that using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the x axis and 2 cm to 2 units on the y axis, draw the graph of this. So first of all, let's go and draw our axis and label them. Don't forget to do that, always. So this is my y, my x axis, this is my x axis, and this is my y axis. And the next thing we should do is to go straight to our table that we have completed and plot the points. When we finish plotting the points, this is what you get. Now the next thing is that we draw a smooth curve through it. I know if you watched the previous video, you should know how to plot the points by now. So drawing a smooth curve through it, we we'll get this. This question is requiring us to obtain from our graph the true set of x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. Now to do that, we locate where x squared minus 3x minus 4, which is the curve that we have drawn and the line y equals 0 where they meet and we know that y equals 0 is the same as the x axis so let's look at that so this curve meets the x axis at x equal negative 1 and x equal 4 so the truth set is x is such that x equal negative 1 or x equal 4 now, the next question is asking us to find the true set of x squared minus 3x equals 5. To do that, this is how we go about it. This is how we go about it. We we'll rewrite x squared minus 3x minus 5 to look like this. So let's do that. 5 equals x squared minus 3x. Now comparing this x squared minus 3x to this. We need to subtract 4 in order to get this. So subtracting 4 from both sides, we get this relation. Now we know that this relation over here is the same as y. So this is equal to y. This relation is now equal to y, which is the same as 1. So when you are asked to solve or find the true set of x squared minus 3x equal 5, it is the same as finding the intersection of y equal 1 and y equal x squared minus 3x minus 4 so if you watch the previous video you should get the understanding clear at this point next so now we've gotten this curve already now we need y equal 1 so that we can find the intersection now this is y equal 1. To draw the line y equal 1, put your ruler at where y is equal to 1 on the y axis and draw a straight line. So if you do it well, you have to get this. Now let's look at where they are intersecting. They intersect at this point and this point. So this is the point of intersection. So the truth set is x the true set is the is the x value of their point of intersection so the x value over here is negative 1.19 to one decimal place we are going to get negative 1.2 and the over here the x value is 4.19 to one decimal place is 4.2 so the true set is x is such that x is equal to negative 
or 4.2 next yes we are finding the minimum value of y equal x square minus 3x minus 4 so from the graph the minimum value occurs at the vectors so the vectors is this 1.5 and negative 6.25 you find the midpoint of 4 and negative 1 that will give you 1.5 so the x coordinate of the 1.5 will lie on the vectors that is the midpoint of where the graph cuts the x axis so the minimum value is the y coordinate of the vectors which is negative 6.25 so the minimum value is negative 6.25 Next, from the graph, find the range of values of x for which y decreases as x increases. So like we did in the previous video, tracing from left to right, the graph is decreasing. Note that the graph represents y. It's different from the y axis. Y is referring to the graph, but this is the y axis. Good. So as we are decreasing, the graph is decreasing and x is also increasing so the range is x less than 1.5 so the range of values of x for which y decreases as x increases is x less than 1.5 then the next question the range of values of x for which y increases as x increases they are all increasing now so from this point onwards the graph changes direction it is now increasing and x is also increasing so x greater than 1.5 for x greater than 1.5 the graph is increasing as x is also increasing the next question is the range of values of x for which y is less or equal to zero so let's divide our graph into this part and see so if you observe carefully in the white region y is less or equal to zero in other words they will tell you y is negative y is negative but over here they want to include the equal to sign that's why they brought the inequality y is less or equal to zero so it means which part of the graph within which range within which range is the graph below the x axis so it is from x greater than negative 1 and x less than 4 so the range of values of x for which y is less or equal to 0 is x greater than negative 1 and x less than 4 then the last part the range of values of s for which y is greater than zero that is y is positive that is another way of saying it y is positive so for this region that's the blue region these portions of the graph are greater than zero or they are above the x axis so the range of values of s for which y is greater than 0 is x greater than 4 and x less than negative 1.